What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and Esther Mello, this one is for you. You've requested Sabrina Carpenter's look under my last video. So today I want to take a look at Sabrina Carpenter's look. She has a few pictures where she does that vintage camera look that I like a lot. So today I will show you how to achieve exactly that look. Uh, what we will need is a smartphone, of course, and you will need three apps to really nail the look. The first one, of course, is the free Lightroom mobile app. The second one is also a free app called Snapseed, and the third one as well free. It's called Navy, and we will use all of these three apps. Now, before I start, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials. Also, contact me on Instagram if there's anything you need. My handle is at Stephen Womack. I'm always happy to jump into a conversation with you. And of course, I've created this amazing presets that you can use for 2020 that will really upgrade your Instagram game. You can download them from my website. The link is under this video. And I've said enough now. Let's jump right into the tutorial. So first, of course, you want to open up the Lightroom app. And I chose this picture, it's a different picture of Sabrina, but I will add the vintage camera look to this picture. Now, first of all, I want you to hit the curves button in the light section, and I want you to create this curve as it is here. So you boost up the shadows and bring down the highlights a little bit, and in between you wanna create that steep S curve. So you copy the curve as it is right here. Once you have that, we're done here. And there's not really a lot to do in this Lightroom app, but uh, we want to pull down the contrast here to around negative 37. And we want to bring down the blacks as well to around negative 64. It's perfect. And then we jump over to that color space. What we want to do here is boost up the temperature to around plus 12 is perfect and we also want to boost the tint up to around plus 25 to get those vintage colors started and what we want to do is pull down the saturation as well to around negative 23 is good so we're done with the colors we jump over to the effects panel and here we really just want to pull down the clarity to get it a little blurry to around negative 29 and we also want to bring some grain in there to add that vintage touch to around uh, 20 25 is perfect so we're good here we scroll up to that split toning button we hit that and what we want to do now for the highlights is pull them over all the way to 283 uh, as a hue and a saturation of around uh, 14 is good. Now for the shadows, we want to pull them over to a hue of 35, that orange red area, and a saturation of 28 is perfect. So now we really have those vintage colors here. And we're done with this look, so we want to export it, uh, save to camera roll, maximum available, and now we jump into that next app. This is gonna be Snapseed right here. Now what we wanna do is open that picture that we've just created right there. And then we wanna hit the tools button on the bottom and we're looking for Glamour Glow. It's, it's that tool right in the middle. So we hit that. And what we wanna do now is just boost the glow a little bit to a, around 60. 67 is good and now you can see the picture being glowy this is what we want to achieve and saturation is good at negative 29 and warmth at zero so we're done with this effect we go to tools again and we hit that lens blur on the bottom right and we pull this uh, the blur area just down to the corner all the way out of the picture and we try to make that circle uh, smaller using both hands and we're just gonna have it vanish in the corner now we scroll up on the picture and then you see blur strength this is what we want to pull down all the way to plus seven right there is good and now we get that vintage blurry look to the picture 
picture. So this is perfect. We're done here as well. We hit the check mark, we export it, and we save a copy. Now the last thing we want to do is open up an app called Navy. All of the apps are also under this video. Um, you can find them for Android and iOS. So we open up that Navy Film app and we add a photo. And now we want to add that photo right here. And then on the bottom you see A, A, K, A, K2, and B. And you want to choose B to get those white sprinkles in there to get that really vintage uh, dust into that picture. And maybe we want to pull down the effect a little bit to not over exaggerate. And I think around here we have a pretty nice result. So we save it and um, we're done. Now this is a before and after and I think we really nailed this. Esther, I hope you're happy with this result and everybody else watching of course. I'm uh, super happy if this was good content for you to follow along and to create amazing content. Once again, I've created this filter pack, preset pack for Lightroom Mobile that you can use for every one of your pictures to get them ready for 2020 and really upgrade your Instagram game. Check them out. The link is under this video. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials. And if there's anything else I can do for you, any special requests that you have, either comment under this video or also just DM me on Instagram. My handle is at Stephen Womack and I'm always super happy to hear from you to get feedback. This is really important for me and that's why I just can't say it enough. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Hear from you on Instagram. Whatever. Let me know. Peace.